Hey guys, welcome back to Landscape Alert, where we are continuing our basics with the concept application that you can get over on your Android, Apple, or Windows device. Most likely a tablet. That is what I am using. I am using an Apple iPad. So now that we kind of have that introduction out of the way, this is a series so far. We do have two other videos that you can also check out for more of the basics, how to get started with this application. Let's say that you are drawing something for your front yard or backyard, and you want to show your family what the idea is behind this. To get these ideas across, it is always encouraged, and I would say this as a designer, to give it a bit of spice, give it a bit of color so they can understand what you are going for. And this is a good way to do it. Let's say that this is your design right now. You kind of, hey, you know, this is X, Y, and Z, and I want a tree here, and I want a shrub there, and so forth and so on, but they just don't get it. By adding color to it, you are going to allow them to kind of see it even better. Even though this is going to be a bird's eye view, this is of course not a 3D rendering that you're doing because that would one, take you a lot longer to understand how to do that, but also you just may not have the time, but you kind of at least want to give an idea of what you want to do. So this does already have color, but how can we add color to it? Well, the app itself makes it really simple for you. You can really just go over here on this wheel over here in the center and then just click and choose any colors that you want. But let's say that you want to create a palette that is a bit more cohesive, that kind of goes with the flow of the design that you want to, you know, paint or add color to. So first I should add that um, the Concepts app did partner up with the Copic uh, markers and are the way that they are using the colors. If you've ever seen them, there are great Sharpies, I would say, um, that are used um, by designers, architects, and many other professionals. So there is a little bit of that information there, but now let's talk about the whole creating your own palette. So let's say that you are wanting to kind of copy something similar to this tree over here, and you're like, I don't know, I like this tree you know, a lot, so I'm gonna copy its color just to use it somewhere else. Well, the way you would wanna do that is you click on the center over here, and you're gonna go to the picker, and then you can just hover right above it, and then it'll give it to you. That way you are gonna have the color right away, and you can use it anywhere else. But you also have a palette right in below this wheel, which is right here. If you scroll across it, you're gonna be able to pick other colors. The way you know the one that you are using is by this little triangle arrow down. And if you pick that one, it will give you that color. So if we kind of move around and we pick this other one, you're gonna have that one. But let's say that you are wanting to create your own palette because you have a certain either colors that you have in mind. So the way we wanna do that is by choosing uh, the fill in uh, brush right here. We're gonna click on it uh, and then you're gonna get this window that pops up and then you can have brushes and colors. We're gonna choose the colors ones and then you're gonna have your palettes. As you can tell, this part right here is gonna be your palettes if you create any of them. And at the same time below, you have dynamic palettes. And what that means is that depending on the color that you choose, it is going to give you some options that you can also use for your design. So since we already have this bright sort of pumpkin orange, it's gonna give you this other colors right here that you can choose. But if you're like, nope, I wanna do something a bit more soft or something different, you wanna create your own, you can do so by going over here. You click on this one and now you have a brand new palette and you can even name it if you want to. You can say, oh, the house, the rock, the tree, whatever it is that you are doing. Keep it in mind that you can always do different sketches and ideas in this app. So there is that part there. But let's say that you are wanting to do a bunch of different greens. I already have one that says grass. That is the one that I use for my grass. And you'll see how this is grass and there's this other one that says natural grass that means there's two different kinds so maybe you have three different kinds whatever it is that you are wanting to do so one way to do this is if there is any color here that you already like and you want to pair it up with something else the easiest way is by clicking on the color so let's say that we are gonna want that bright orange over there so we find it here we're gonna click on this orange here so I'm gonna grab that one, kinda 
kind of grab it over here and add it to this one once you see the plus sign you can let it go and it's going to add to the new palette uh, so let's say that you want a different one let's say that you are wanting to do say I don't know a very sort of light brown we're gonna click on the one that you want uh, once you kind of grab that one you're gonna grab it and bring it over you're gonna see the plus sign and now you have your colors but if you don't like it um, you can always press on it it will give you the option to delete it so you will delete that uh, specific palette but you can always create the ones that you want and if you want to even be more fancy about it which you obviously can you can once again click that and then you can start kind of messing with all this areas over here right you have all these options and that's going to be up to you if you want to do that of course since we're not going to get that deep we're going to for now just skip that part so now that let's say that you chose your palette you know this one for instance you know you're going to go back over here and you're going to look for it like oh okay so maybe this is the one that i was going for so i wanted more grass you know you start drawing it you know something a little darker and you're going to add your colors you will notice that it will shift somewhat because it does have that dynamic thing going on which allows you to kind of add similar ish colors that would go well with the ones that you're currently using so if you are say working on this side over here where it has nothing and you want to copy say this or uh, over here pink area in this area for this tree well you would kind of go again to the center over here get your picker um, you're gonna hover around once it's there it's just up and now you have this color to use but this is again the basics of how to do this of course once you get better at it you are going to be add more stuff to it um, this again is some of the basics for the concepts app let me know what you guys think about this let me know if you guys are working on a uh, landscape design yourselves um, you can always reach me over at landscape alert over on instagram and tiktok and of course don't forget the model over here which is dream design create and i will see you guys on the next video in the meantime take care Bye bye